Welcome to module four, video number five. In this part of the course, we're gonna be talking about creating an Etsy blueprint for your new Etsy shop. So now that you have defined your niche and you have narrowed down your ideal customer, in this part of the video, I'm gonna help you create a blueprint to help you gather your thoughts and put it in one place. Now, what do I mean by blueprint, right? So whenever I open a new shop, I always create a blueprint of what I want to include in my shop. And the layout is a great way that helps me gather my thoughts, create a user-friendly shop, and helps me have a strategy in place, which is really important. So for the example of this video, I'm gonna do a blueprint for a niche that sells wedding invitations and stationaries. That way you guys have an idea and then you could create your own Etsy blueprint. So the first step to building your blueprint is to know what products you want to sell. So you have to think, what do I wanna sell on my store? And this is often the most challenging part of starting an online business. So do you want to sell just wedding invites or do you want to make your shop like the one shop for anything and everything wedding related? Do you want to sell bundle? packages of wedding stationery by colors and design. So by creating a blueprint of your different sections that you're gonna have on your shop, it's gonna help you put a marketing strategy in place. Um, you could use craftcount.com if you need to go back and get some ideas of other shops to kind of get your inspiration rolling, I guess. I'm not saying to copy other shops, I'm just saying use it as an inspiration. Now, the first step will be deciding what do you want in your shop? And keep in mind, nothing is set in stone. This is just an activity that's gonna help you gather your ideas of what exactly you want to put in your store. A lot of XE owners open a store and they just start adding stuff and they never had no marketing strategy. They didn't have nothing in place. I did that myself and this is what I have learned now. And if I had to tell anybody, what would I do differently? it will be create some sort of Etsy blueprint so I know exactly what I'm working with. And here's our, here is a list of things that I could sell within the wedding niche. So wedding invite, I could add wedding RSVP cards, I could do wedding sitting chart, I could do wedding table numbers, I could do wedding placement numbers, um, placement cards, I could do wedding menus, wedding signs, wedding programs, wedding thank you cards, so this is kind of like what you wanna do. You wanna do a list, but the list is gonna be based on your niche. And when you compile the list of your section, then the next step is making sure your shop section is optimized for SEO. But we'll cover that on the SEO, which is the next module, but we'll cover that then. But you wanna make sure that you create a list. Like I said, it's not set in stone yet. This is just to kind of gather your ideas. So whatever niche you're going into, make sure that you start um, creating a list of the things that you want to sell. So let's do a recap on module four. You could use craft count to get inspired and learn from someone else. Decide what products or services you want to sell and write down a list of products or services you plan to sell. So don't go to the next video until you do this activity. Write down the list of things that you want to sell that are relevant to your niche. And this is gonna help you gather your thoughts and have some sort of marketing strategy when you open your Etsy store. I'll see you in the next video.